Hi, my Otter friends. Welcome back. So I know I've been reading you guys a few books, and you guys are going to be so happy today. I found one of our favorites, The Bad Seed. I found it on my Kindle, so I thought I'd read it to you guys. So this is The Bad Seed. It's written by Jory John, and it's illustrated by Pete Oswald. Okay. The Bad Seed. And I'll read the words, and I'll hold it up, and I'll show you guys afterwards, okay? I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble. There goes that bad seed. But I can hear them. I have a good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands, which is scary to think about now, or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff and I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody, I glare at everybody, and I finish everybody's sentences, and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things, too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere, and we found ways of having fun. We were very close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. And on the bag it says sunflower seeds. Delicious. Everything went dark and then, then, a giant. Uh-oh, and there he goes. You see him popping into the guy's mouth. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! But I was spit out at the last possible second. Choo! I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall, and I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right, I stopped smiling. I kept to myself, and I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can, and I didn't care, and it suited me. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen sometimes, and I still show up late, and I still talk during movies, and I do all kinds of other bad things. <clears throat> but I also say thank you, and I say please, and I smile, and I hold doors open for people, not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep trying, and maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all.
Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. And I heard that. The end. There you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I know that is one of our favorite books. I'm going to see next if I could find. Um, I know we have The Good Egg and there's another one I can't remember the name of, but I will definitely try to find those for you guys to read. Um, but I thought if you guys would like, um, after listening to this book, this is something we've talked about many times in our classroom about being a bad seed and ways how he changed to become a good seed. Um, so just think about, you could talk about with mom and dad, with the brother or sister, or you could write down in the comments, what's the way you could be a good seed if you can do when we come back to the classroom, when we come back hopefully this summer to the Otter classroom, what's one way you're going to be a good seed in the classroom? Let me know below, okay? I hope you guys liked it. Bye.